Hi, welcome to DataWits. In this short video, we will learn about how to create a radar chart. Radar chart is also known as wave chart, which you can see in this image. It is a very special kind of uh, chart where we are comparing different parameters with different variables. We can create some other chart also like line chart or bar chart, but the comparison would not be easy. So in the very first part, we will first learn how to create a radar chart in Excel. Then after we will learn how to read it. So let us go to our next sheet where we have data. So first learn, understand what this data is. So we have data for few students and their marks in different subjects. So we wanted to compare that how John is performing in different subjects. So let us first create the radar chart. So first we will go the in insert tab and here we will go in this insert waterfall funnel stock or radar chart. We can see here three different kind of radar charts. One is a normal one, second is with the marker and the third one is with the category which is you know shadow one. This the third one is the shadow one. So we will first use our the simple one. So here we have our chart or graph you can see. So let us first make it some spacious so that we can read it. So now you can see that we get something like wave type of chart here. Now the question is how to read it. So you can see that there are different corners that has been presented by the name of the student and there are different color of lines is also there which shows the subject names. So, along with this, we can see that there is an axis also which has 0, 20, 40 values. And the same values goes for every corner, means every parameter. We can change this value as well by going in different. Here we can change this value by 20 or 10, 30, whatever we wanted to change, like this. So, we can see that we have 0 to maximum 90 or 100 value is there. So, here Sheen, we can see the Sheen. Sheen has the highest marks in chemistry than approximately the similar marks in biology and English along with the other subject like physics. Same goes for Rosie. The comparison is very much easy. We can see the comparison is here that the highest marks is in chemistry, then English, then biology, and then the least marks in physics. So this wave chart or we can say radar chart is for the comparison of these uh, values and it make, makes us very easy to understand when we are using this radar chart. Even if we wanted to see who has the highest marks in physics or how people are performing in physics, we can change the axis as well. To change the axis, we go to the select data and switch rows to columns. 
and then OK. Now we can see in English, Gia has the highest marks, then Rosie. You can see by color here. And approximate the same marks for Sheen and I think John. And here also we can read by the parameter also. So we can interchange both the parameter and variables to compare the data. Few things to remember that we have an axis here and this axis is equal for everyone. So zero that will start and will go to the maximum marks of that particular one. That is all for this video. If you like this video, please like this particular video and share with all others also. And please do not forget to subscribe this video. Thank you very much.